Good day, everyone. As we come together on this World Mission Sunday, please join me in praying for all of the missions and missionaries around the world. We continue to pray for peace in our world and for the victims of war and terrorism. And we also remember in our prayers this morning, Anthony Montanino. And so let us join our hearts and minds as we sing together, Come, Follow Me.
Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant, we pray, that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one. I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And of activity. 
And this past Friday night, the children continue to learn this little light of mine with Patty Natty and are beginning to learn the parts of the Mass, beginning with the Kyrie, the Lord have mercy. With Miss Jen Dorn, they continue to pray the Our Father, coloring a picture of Jesus and making for themselves a little booklet so that they can pray every day the prayer that our Savior taught us. And with Betsy, the children watch the video as they can imagine and picture Jesus as a living, breathing, human person. And then prayed with the children, leading them through some quiet meditation, asking them to experience Jesus in their hearts and in their minds. And finally, the children got to be with me. And we focused on the parable of the workers in the vineyard. And we were discussing attitude versus gratitude. Attitude that is fed by our angers, our jealousies, our egos. The attitude that sometimes we give to our parents or fellow classmates or others in our lives. That attitude that we don't appreciate them. That attitude that I deserve this. That attitude of want, of need, of this is mine. Versus gratitude in many ways, always having a thankful heart, thanking God, even in the midst of difficulties in life or when things don't seem fair, but being grateful. Attitude versus gratitude. And our young disciples, our First Holy Communion children, know very well that they became a part of God's family through baptism. And that they were given not just the gift of faith, but the light of Jesus Christ. A light that will help them to be grateful. To always have that spirit of gratitude rather than attitude. And in the scriptures today we have both attitude and gratitude. Did you listen to the gospel? Once again, some of our religious leaders, some of the Pharisees and others in the life of Jesus were giving him attitude. They were trying to trick him. They were trying to trap him. They're trying to make him look bad. And ultimately, we know that all of this malice, all of this attitude would lead to Jesus being betrayed and arrested and dying on the cross, all from an attitude, a hardness of heart, a failure to embrace the word of life, the words of Jesus, the invitation to follow him. Some of these religious leaders gave attitude. But St. Paul, in the opening of his letter to the Thessalonians, simply says, we give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters. Paul, beginning that letter, always beginning his ministry with that gratitude, that gratitude that the Lord had changed his heart, the gratitude that some and many had come to embrace the good news of Jesus Christ. But Paul shows us how in all circumstances, to give thanks to God. Attitude versus gratitude. How are you living your life? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord in Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, 
For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we gather on this World Mission Sunday, we bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father with humility and confidence in His goodness and generosity. We pray for our church. May it be renewed in its mission to reveal the Word of God to all His people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of Israel and Gaza, for those grieving the sudden loss of loved ones, for hostages and captives, and for a miraculous de-escalation of this conflict that love and reason overcome rage and revenge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those gathered at the Synod in Rome. May they be inspired by the Holy Spirit in their deliberations and find the path to renew our church in its Christ-given mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we recognize that we too are missionaries and are called to share his message with friends, family, and neighbors through our words and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our deceased family members, friends, and benefactors, especially Anthony Montanino, that they may experience the radiance of God's light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the Catholic community of Gloucester and Rockport. May the Holy Spirit inspire us to live the gospel, share God's love, and rebuild His church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to entrust our prayers and our lives into the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, as we pray together. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your Spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again. Adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. Revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Celebrating. 
this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, with all bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Our Lady of Good Voyage, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with St. Peter, St. Anne and St. Joachim, St. Francis and St. Clare, St. Anthony and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever. Thank you. 
Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed week, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.